What's up everyone? This is an iPhone 15 Plus volume button repair video and we're gonna try cleaning it out first because the repair is very lengthy and takes a long time, about four hours to do the whole repair. For the cleaning, we'll use some alcohol, fine pointed tweezers, a brush, and some air. And it ended up not working, so then we had to grab out our P2 Penelope 2 screwdriver and unscrew the two screws from the bottom, and then we heat it up on the, its back side for 10 minutes on a heater. Before we get too far into the video, I want to introduce you to this video sponsor. This is this video sponsor, Drive Savers, and this is a hard drive. It is definitely broken and it needs a data recovery. Along with this phone, this phone was unrepairable and has something board level wrong with it. And Drive Savers is definitely the place you want to send your repairs that you fail to repair and you need to do a data recovery. Use my reference code to get a free estimate today and see if they can get the data. I'll leave details in my description below. Timer's done. We'll grab our metal pry tool and start prying from the bottom. And once we get our metal pry tool underneath, then we can get our plastic pry tool underneath the back glass and then we'll be able to get off the back glass. We'll remove these three Y triple zero screws in yellow before we take off the back glass completely. Take off this bracket first because it's the one that holds down the battery connection and we'll get the battery disconnected. To get the battery disconnected, you're going to want to lift up the back glass and go from behind to lift it up with your plastic spudger. Perfect. Once you disconnected the battery, you can get the Y triple zero screw holding down the back glass connection and then push off the bracket with your plastic spudger and then you can disconnect the connector. Now we can disconnect everything on the board and we'll want to do that because we're going to need to take out the logic board. Use a Y triple zero screw driver to remove the screws that hold down the remaining connections. After we disconnected all of the connections, we can grab our standoff screwdriver and remove the screws holding down the board. There is one hidden one underneath the ear speaker, and we'll get to that soon. Definitely, if you found my guide helpful, leave me a super thanks. It'd be much appreciated. I spend a lot of time making these videos. Also, if you really like what you're seeing, join my channel and get exclusive Q&A content about my repairs and my life in repairs. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Once we get all the connectors disconnected and standoff screws, there's the hidden standoff screw underneath the ear speaker and remove these seven PH000 screws. The screws near the camera don't seem to like to magnetize. It's probably because of magnets inside the camera. We'll take out the ear speaker and we forgot a screw. When I was pulling it out, I noticed it wasn't coming out as easy as it should. So once you have all the screws removed, it should just easily just come out just like that. Now we've revealed the final standoff screw holding down the board and we can get ready to take out the board. Just a reminder, the screen and proximity sensor are connected to it underneath. So you're going to want to flip out the board just as how I do it. Once you have the board flipped out, there's two Y triple zero screws holding down the screen and the proximity sensor. Boy, 
Perfect, we got the board out. Now we can get our PH000 screwdriver and remove the volume button flex cable, which is right here on the edge of the frame. The volume flex bracket is connected to the screen. It has a bracket that goes over top the screen, so you'll have a hard time getting this off. You might actually have to take off the screen, but I would manage to take off the volume flex without having to take off the screen. So um, there's these little brackets, and I'm just going to reseat them. And it should fix the volume button issue, but in the end of the repair, it ended up not fixing it. So. I think I need to get the part and actually replace it now, but I wanted to give you an example of how to replace the volume flex cable just because uh, this is a very informational video to show you how it all comes apart and what to expect if you're going to do this repair. To get the buttons off, you'll have to uh, first take off that little paper clip looking thing and then you'll get some bended tweezers and then push this on the bottom to push the lever up and then you can pull it off. It's pretty difficult and it took me a lot of practice to get this down on how to take these little brackets off. So this is the part where I recommend that if you're having this issue and you need help repairing it, mail in your repair. Otherwise you might have a real hard time putting this thing back together. And if you're just having the issue of putting it back together, you can always send it to me half taken apart if you did attempt the repair already. I will inspect it if it needs to be cleaned and it didn't need clean. So we'll just put it all back together and put the button back in, put the little lever on and then the clip. And then we'll put on the volume flex cable part and you'll wanna uh, put it on the screen part first with some bended tweezers and just clip it on. Mine was bent up a little bit so I had to bend it back and I was managed to get it back on but it still didn't click like how it should at the end of the repair and I ended up uh, deciding we needed to get the replacement part but they needed their phone back that day so I needed to put it back together and allow them to pick up their phone and use it while I wait on the part. So we'll get the part and I'll do the repair over again. And that's not a big deal because I got it. And I just showed you how to reseat it. And this should work for you, but it didn't work for me. And it, every repair is different. You never know what you're getting into. And at the end of the repair, I did have an issue with the ear speaker not sounding right. So always check your connections. Put the board in everything back together for you guys i'm gonna speed up this part of the video and you guys can just watch it if you like but you made it this far and all you got to do is test it make sure you test 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 everything because you take it fully apart Here's the final product. It looks beautiful. I use liquid adhesive. I recommend using the pole tab sort of adhesive, but anyways, that's all I had at the time and I'll have it when I do the repair fully with the part. And I also wanted to tell you guys to check out my other videos. I have hundreds of videos and fun little shorts for you guys to check out.